Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. I tweeted this out yesterday. I need them to hurry up and announce a Fnatic bot lane for Worlds because I was getting a little anti. I was getting a little bit excited. People started throwing around all the different rumors and speculation and possibilities about who might be playing for Fnatic. Uh, and I was just generally curious. And I know that a lot of other people were out there as well. Obviously, uh, this tweet got 21 likes. I don't know. That's that's decent for my Twitter account. I'll take 21 likes. Um, and that was why I put it out. And also, I put it out because we're just a couple days away from World starting. The play-in start on September 29th, which I believe is this Thursday. And Fnatic is in play-ins. And Fnatic plays on the first day of play-ins. And Fnatic is playing Evil Geniuses, who probably uh, deserve to know who they're going to be playing up against, or at least who they could potentially be playing up against, because I'm sure that's going to change some of their prep work, depending on who, um, you know, is even in the possible pool of players who could be playing for Fnatic. Obviously, this whole thing revolves around the fact that a couple of days ago, Fnatic announced that Upset and Hillisang uh, tested positive for COVID. Didn't sound like they were doing all that bad. Didn't sound like they were, were super sick or having symptoms or anything like that. But still, a positive test is a positive test. And obviously, what made things worse is that they were in Europe and it was going to be difficult to travel to Mexico uh, while having COVID because, you know, you're not just able to get on planes and, and stuff like that. And, and it wouldn't necessarily have the best optics and everything like that. So we didn't know when uh, Upset and Hill saying we're going to be able to get to, to Mexico. I don't know if they're going to have to do a five day quarantine or a seven day quarantine or more than that, or if they're going to have to test negative first before they can go. I don't know how it's going to work, but no matter what, they were running very, very close to uh, needing Worlds to start. And obviously, Fnatic has already left. They've already made it over to uh, North America, Mexico, United States. I don't know exactly where they are right now, and I assume they are in, they are in Mexico, but um, I, I have not confirmed that. But I know there was pictures of them flying on over. Um, and yeah, Upset and Hillsang are, are not with them, and they are starting to scrim and practice. And even if Upset and Hillsang could get there like the day of the games or the day before the games or whatever, you know, they're going to be jet lagged. Their, their body clocks are going to be all messed up. They're not going to be at all. Um, and then they got people, you know, putting out all the rumors and speculation and everything about who the Fnatic bot lane could possibly be um, because it is such an emergency situation. And uh, Fnatic, their roster they submitted to Worlds, it just had Bean, um, their academy or ERL 80 carry as their one substitute. So obviously Bean comes in for upset, but then who's going to play support? Some people are like, oh, Yamato's going to play support. Some people are like, oh, well, you can just get the Fnatic Academy support or whatever. And then some people are like, oh, well, he's not on the official roster. That's not allowed. That's BS. It's like, okay, we just saw with the Danny situation when Kauri subbed in for him that Riot makes exceptions for emergency situations. They're not just going to let you not go without a player or anything like that. But the big question was, um, you know, obviously Fnatic can get their Academy support, Rux. They can bring him up. But... Does he have a visa? Is he going to be able to travel to Mexico in time? Is that even going to make sense? And then the other thing was, um, okay, say Rux doesn't have it. Like, we have no idea. Nobody knew at this point. So they were saying, okay, say Rux doesn't have a visa. Um, say he's not able to get a worker's visa in time to be able to travel, travel over and play in Worlds and all that stuff. Well then maybe they could get one of the other European players. And that also wouldn't be totally unprecedented. Last year at MSI, we saw PSG Talon. Um, I think their AD carry was unified, I want to say. Um, and he wasn't able to make it to whatever country they were playing in because I think visa issues or something like that. Uh, and then Riot let Doggo, who was beyond gaming's AD carry at that point, uh, another team from the PCS, an entirely different roster, an entirely different organization. They let him play with PSG Talon. And that's where doggo kind of burst onto the scene for the first time so we knew that riot would let a player from your own league sub into your team so then people started thinking oh man we're about to get bean and, and mickey we're about to get bean and mersa uh, like what's going on here this is about to be crazy um but then again people are saying hey these these other lec teams they didn't make it to world so do they have visas? Uh, like, like, we don't know. Um, obviously, some people have come out and said that, hey, pretty much most teams in playoffs start the visa process uh, because they assume they're going to make Worlds or just in case they make Worlds or whatever, they don't want to be scrambling at the last minute. You start the visa process, and if you don't make Worlds, like, hey, whatever, uh, it's fine. If you do make Worlds, then you're ready to go. So... Those guys should have had visas, or I'm assuming most likely do have visas, whether they wanted to go after Mercer or Mickey, or whether those guys were available or wanted to play, or, you know, whatever was going on. And then that guy, okay, well, say the LEC guys can't play, then would Fnatic be able to borrow somebody from the LCS? And they got people talking about Fnatic Core JJ, or, uh, you know, Fnatic whatever other LCS support. And it was just this really uh, funny rabbit hole that we were diving through. But we did finally get a, an uh, official announcement from LOL Esports. They tweeted out this, um, competitive operations update Fnatic 
Fnatic roster, Riot Games has permitted Fnatic an emergency roster addition due to two players uh, contracting COVID. Obviously, when we're going through the, the pandemic and everything's still going on and people getting sick, you, you can't really do anything about it. They were going to have to give them an emergency substitute. Um, the player Rux from Fnatic's ERL team, Fnatic TQ, has been added as a seventh player to the Fnatic roster. We wish Upset and Hillsang a speedy recovery and look forward to seeing them at Worlds. So we still don't know what the heck's going on. We still don't know when uh, Upset and Hillsang are going to be able to travel, when they're going to get there, how they're feeling, um, what the timeline is for them, what they're requiring from them. We don't know, but it does seem like we're not going to be getting any other LEC players. It's not going to be Fnatic Core JJ, nothing like that. In the meantime, we are going to be getting, uh, as long as Upset and Hillsang can't play or one of them can't play or whatever, we're going to be getting Bean and Rux as the two Fnatic players. Now, if you guys don't know much about these guys, it's very, very interesting. You know, we saw Bean at Worlds last year when Upset had his incident and had to return home and yada, yada, yada. Bean played for Fnatic and he played pretty well he did not do bad especially for a guy subbing in last minute um with no lec experience at all and what's crazy for bean is that he didn't play in the lec at all i'm pretty sure he's played zero lec games in his career and then went to worlds and then again this year played no lec games and now he's going to worlds again i, I don't think he's played in any in in, in in any LEC games, I can't talk, but maybe he played um, like in a couple or something like that, but no, it doesn't look like it. It looks like he was just a temporary sub during Worlds, um, so he has had zero LEC appearances, but this is going to be now his second Worlds, um, being as a 21-year-old AD carry for, uh, like we said, Fnatic TQ. He's German, um, and yeah, ready to go. And then there is Rux. This is uh, the player that we know less about since he did not play with Fnatic at Worlds last year. He is a Portuguese supporter. He's actually 26 years old. Um, this guy, I believe, also has not played in the LEC. He's been around for a while, though. Um, looks like he's played in Brazil for a little bit, played in Turkey for a little bit, played in some ERLs, some minor region uh, Europe stuff. Uh, their story is a little bit interesting because if we look at the spring split for uh, the LVP, the LVPSL, Superliga, whatever, this is the Spanish league, Fnatic TQ was very, very good. Fnatic TQ finished 16-2 and in the regular season, um, and then we get to spring playoffs where they uh, also did very, very well. They 3-0 uh, in the finals. They beat Barcelona 3-1 and then 3-0 uh, against uh, Bison's E-Club. Uh, they ended up going to EU Masters. Obviously, they didn't uh, necessarily live up to expectations at EU Masters, but they were still a really, really good team. This led Bean and Rux to being two of the most exciting prospects uh, in all of the ERL, some of the most sought after players. We were kind of hoping and expecting to get them in the LEC sooner rather than later. But the summer season, the more recent games that we have to go off of did not go as well for Fnatic TQ. They went from a first place team in the spring to an eighth place team in the summer and that is very very strange that is quite the massive fall off they went eight and ten yes they only ended up missing the playoffs by a single game but they did miss the playoffs after going whatever 16 and two in the spring so the team overall was not as strong. Uh, maybe the league got better. Maybe the league leveled up. I don't know, but the team definitely was not as strong as they were in spring. Uh, if we take a look at some of the stats and stuff real quick, this is from the summer regular season um, in the LVP. We can see Bean was towards the bottom of the league in terms of KDA. Um, he had a uh, goal difference at 10. He was second to last. This is always tough to tell. Uh, you never know how many Senna games people are playing, though. Um, you know, CSD, he was minus 3.3, so right about middle of the pack. Uh, we can take a look at, like, damage per minute, stuff like that. Bean was towards the bottom uh, in the Superliga uh, in terms of damage per minute and in terms of damage share he was also towards the bottom uh, we can pull up some of Rux's stats real quick uh, in terms of KDA uh, Rux was also towards the bottom 2.7 KDA 8 kills 63 deaths 160 assists um, I don't really think there's too much else you can look for stat wise as far as supports go but but yeah I mean the team is definitely not uh, where not what they were during the spring um, but these guys do have some potential they do have some talent and uh, especially when you're playing on a better team uh, in Fnatic obviously the better players around you can can make you look better they can make you rise up we already saw Bean last year was able to rise to the occasion um, but that was also playing with you know Hillisang by his side and now if Bean does have to play with Rux by his side it might look very very different this starts to look really really rough for Fnatic especially because they're in play-ins they need to qualify through play-ins even get to the main stage even give Upset and Hillisang a chance to play there um, hopefully Upset and Hillisang are not gone too much longer but it does seem like in the meantime we will be seeing Bean and Rux in the bot lane um, for them so uh, that is it that is the latest on this whole situation um, uh, yeah, no LEC players, no LCS, Bean and Rux, uh, but that's about all we know at this time. Definitely drop a like if you guys did enjoy this video. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about anything we talked about in this video today. Subscribe, stay up to date on my latest content. I hope to catch you guys in the next one, but until then, peace.